Welcome back to Wiseman Company everybody. Today I'm at the workbench and wanted to show you how to install sling hardware onto a sling that has a tri-glide connector. This is pretty common among most slings, uh, not all of them, but uh, a vast majority will use attachments like this and it is definitely the case for all of the Lunar Concepts slings that we sell. And today I'm going to be putting a QD onto the end of this multicam contour sling. So let's get right into it. So as I mentioned, this is on a Lunar Concepts contour sling and this is the tri-glide attachment. And it's actually pretty simple to install one of these. Uh, basically you're just making a loop um, and feeding it back through the tri-glide. So there are two ways to do this. Um, the first way is to just make a loop like so. Feed it through your attachment and then you're going to go underneath your tri-glide. So you're basically going to pop up a loop like this. Take your tail and you're going to feed it back through the underside up into that loop. And then take it right back down the other side. So very similar to uh, like your a backpack strap, uh, things like that. And then just pull that snug out and adjust uh, your length. Now that is one way to do it. Uh, the way that I recommend uh, will actually lock it off. And so again, uh, um, you're going to make a loop, but you're gonna make that loop in the other direction. So you're gonna feed your QD or sling mount, uh, whatever mount you're using through that loop that's coming back on top of the tri-glide buckle. You're then going to feed up through, down through, and this is what you want to do. Again, make your adjustments, but then to lock that off, you're going to feed that back over your tri-glide buckle. And then that locks, as you can see, it locks that off so that it won't slip on you, which is pretty important with a sling. And at that point, once you have everything adjusted to the length that you want, just snip off your tail, trim it, and then uh, take a, a lighter and melt the end if it is nylon like it is for the contour sling. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward. And hopefully that helps some of you that may be putting sling hardware onto your sling for the first time. Thanks for joining us here at the workbench. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. We'd love to get your feedback. Drop us a comment down below. Let us know maybe what other videos you'd like to see here at the workbench. Make sure you do subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Tons of great content coming out, especially from Ben at The Range. Thanks again for joining us and I'll see you next time here at The Workbench.